Hey everyone and welcome to it. Welcome to my what's in my backpack video for my senior year of college. It's crazy I've been making these videos for like four years now which is just crazy. I feel like I was just a freshman yesterday but we're here and I have all of the best things in my backpack. All of the college student necessities that I've found are necessary after four years of being in college which honestly I feel like I can't even say that like, I know what's best because two of the years I was basically online. So I had my freshman year, a little bit of it, and a little bit of last year. But other than that, I don't know too much about being a college student, but I know a little. So this is my book bag that I have for the school year. And it is from Lululemon. I kept the tag on so I could tell you the name. Um, this is the City Adventurer backpack. And the fabric is water repellent. It has reinforced straps, expandable pocket, a padded laptop pocket, interior pockets, and everything that you could possibly need. So I love it. I love this color too. I was very nervous to see how the color would turn out. I'll put the name of it here because they, I feel like they just have so many random shades of pink on Lululemon. So I literally had no idea what to expect color-wise, but it's perfect. It's like one of my favorite shades of pink, so very excited about it. So far, the backpack itself, I haven't been able to use it because I haven't had my first day of school yet, but I've been walking around the house with it and it's been nice so far. I am a little worried about it getting dirty just because it's a kind of a lighter color and since it's so plain, I feel like it'll show very easy that it's dirty, but it's okay. Honestly, I feel like I could probably stick it in the washer and it'll be fine. Then another really cool feature that I found as I was messing around with it, um, when you try to tighten the straps, they actually put this like piece of material right here under it that keeps the straps from slipping. So that's another thing that's really annoying with backpacks after a while is if you have so much stuff in it um, and you're walking, like straps will slowly like get longer as you're walking and it's just frustrating. So I think this is supposed to help with that because I was trying to adjust the straps and I was like, why aren't they moving? But it's because they put that there and it's actually really smart and I feel like it's gonna be very nice. But let's go ahead, just get right on into what is actually inside of this backpack that I've got here. So we're gonna, First, talk about the little tiny pocket down at the bottom because this is actually a pocket, but I don't have anything in there right now. All I have are the necessities, some candy, and then some chapstick. But that's it down there for now. I feel like eventually I'll find some stuff to put down there, but beginning of school, you don't really have too much in your backpack yet. It's also very spacious down there, so there's some good stuff you could probably fit, like gym clothes or something. Now into the bigger pocket. We're going to unzip it. Hold on, my camera's about to die. All right, here we go. In here, first off, I have a couple of bags, like inside of the bag, just to keep everything organized. So this first one is for all of my technology. So in here, I keep my stuff for editing and this converter adapter thingy is really helpful to have some sd cards and then i like to keep my chargers for my laptop and tablet in here just keeping that safe and organized so that's not just being thrown around my bag and getting all messed up so that is all in there and i just keep that zipped up so that i can grab it out whenever i need then moving on I have this bag, and this one is full of so many fun, cute things. Ah! All my cute highlighters, and then all of my other like markers and pens are all in here. I'll lay them out real fast so you guys can see because a lot of them are really good. First off, I have these pens slash markers. They're from Amazon, and I just think they're really cute and aesthetic. So there's like a fine point on this end, and then like a highlighter side on this end and they're all like that and they're just really cute colors for keeping my like planner color coded. I have all these markers that have never failed me. I've loved these for the past few years now. These are also from Amazon and again they kind of have like a sharp point down here. Then they have a thicker side on that one and yeah they're also just really fun. These are colors are a little more prominent than these ones so that's nice. I have some highlighters, these sharpie highlighters as well. Some cute baby sticky notes. These are really helpful for writing. Anything I just need to write on to put in my planner on a day just make it a little more organized. I don't know like a quick little grocery list. It's really fun to write that on there and stick that on a planner page. And then I used to have an entire like 
pack of these and I don't know where they all went but they're my Pilot G2 pens and they're my favorite type of pens. They write so neatly and I just am obsessed with them. I'm kind of sad I only have four here. I might have to get some more because I love those pens. And then we have some white out. Oh yeah, and then some pencils because sometimes you actually need pencils instead of pens. So yeah, that's everything that's in this little pouch here. So cute. Love all of my different colors of pens. I just am obsessed. Starts to rain, the smell of steamed asphalt since it no became nature's brew. Alright, next up in the last mini bag that we have in this whole backpack. This is the last one, I swear. Um, I'll just kind of go through it. This is like my little emergency kit, I guess. So I'll just show you what I mean by that. So I have some contact solution because I wear contacts. So sometimes you never know when your eyes are gonna start freaking out on you and you need some to help that. Some hand sanitizer. This one is A Thousand Wishes by Bath & Body Works. Always need some hand sanitizer on you. I usually actually have another one like in a pocket somewhere here that's more easy to reach as well. I have some Advil because I get headaches and migraines so easy so I have to have some with me on all times. Some makeup removing wipes just in case, I don't know. More chapstick in here, this one is Strawberry Ice Pop by just the chapstick brand. A mini deodorant of course. And then some extra gum in that side of that. And then I have some feminine products and then some hair ties and bobby pins down in this pocket as well because this is all just, again, anything that is an emergency. It's perfect, it's all in there. If I'm ever out and about on campus and need something. So, super beneficial to have something like that. I highly recommend just getting a small bag. I know there's some in like the Target dollar, not dollar, um, makeup section. You could just get like a cute makeup bag and just put some goodies in it and just a lot of stuff from like the travel section is always beneficial to put in there. Like I'm sure I'm missing some stuff, but honestly, I don't need anything too crazy. I think that's perfect. Next, we're getting into all my cute little binders and stuff. But before that, I actually wanted to talk about today's video sponsor and that is Best Buy. So thank you Best Buy for sponsoring today's video. I just have a couple of their back to school sales that I wanted to talk with you about. Best Buy has great tech options for students if you still need a laptop or a tablet or something you can head over to Best Buy. They have a lot of good student deals in general. They have the best prices around and fast fulfillment. If you're moving into a dorm or let's say an off-campus house or apartment like I'm in, they have Insignia mini fridges on sale. Hisense smart TVs. We just got a new smart TV and I love it. They just have some amazing deals on so many other smart TVs as well. The Keurig Elite is on sale for back to school. I used to have a Keurig in my dorm and I used it like every day as a student as a freshman because it would help save money with not having to spend your meal points or meal cash however your college does it on coffee every day so it was really helpful to just have one in our dorm there are also plenty of different laptops on sale if you do need one for this upcoming school year it's super nice to check out the sales just to save some extra money where you can which is always needed as a student so if you're interested in just looking at any of the back to school sales I will have best Buys back to school deals page linked down below in the description for you. All right back to my backpack, but in here I have my planner, and this was thing that took me a while to decide on so I'm very picky with my planners I don't know if anyone else is and I just didn't think it was as cute compared to like cute floral planners out there but I went with it anyways just because the inside of it is so good and I found it off of a girl on TikTok who was selling them so I will try and link it below I'm not sure if they're in stock I know they were out of stock the last time I went to look for them to link it for you guys but I will try um, and it's a 2022 to 2023 planner um, so cute so it has the monthly spread here. I haven't done much to it yet. I need to actually go in and fill in our deadlines, but I was just kind of waiting until the first day of class to do that because I wanted to see the deadlines. And a lot of the professors that I have didn't even have their courses up and ready until today. So I couldn't. <laughs> and there is a weekly overview. This is from last week. I just kind of quickly wrote some stuff down. And then each day has its own spread and you can do the whole time blocking where you can 
decide what times you're gonna do things. A whole to-do list area. Notes, so super beneficial on the inside. I love it a lot. Um, then there's a lot of stuff like monthly goals and everything that I haven't done yet because August came out of nowhere and I've been so busy all August, so maybe September I will do it. <laughs> this is the planner that I'm going to be trying to use. If I get annoyed with it being too thick, I might switch over to a digital planner because um, she's a little thick and heavy, so yeah, that's the planner. Next in my bag, I have my Dream Plan Do weekly planner. This is actually my own planner that I created, designed, and wanted to make for you guys. So it's like double-sided so you get the most out of it, and then it's just like a weekly spread. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever, Saturday, Sunday, you can write your goals for the week, any notes, and like anything that's coming up next week, which I love then a quote of the week, and then the month and the week, so. Yay, it's so cute. I actually still have a lot of these in stock if you guys are interested in buying one. I'll have these linked below as well. I just love the color and I love the design. It's just so cute. Definitely suggest this if you do get overwhelmed with having an entire monthly book every once in a while and just want something if you have a really busy week to use. The next, this is something that I have put together to try and use for notes this year if I'm not using my tablet. Because I do usually take a lot of notes digitally by writing them with an electronic pencil on my tablet, but I don't know, a lot of professors, at least in my class I had last semester, she would always have us get out a piece of paper and use that for the class period, like for an activity or something. So I feel like it's just helpful to have paper on and at all times because you never know what a professor is going to want. So. I got this binder from Target, it's really cute. Then there's little dividers with little stars on them. And I wrote the name of each class, so I have this one and this one, and then these two are online. So I just kind of grouped them together because I don't know if I'll be taking notes for my online classes, but maybe if I need it for like exams or something, I don't know. And then I have this paper on the inside. I love the gridded paper and it just keeps my handwriting a lot more organized. So. I'm excited to be using that and I put just a little bit in between each little thing. And then the binder came with these inserts and the binder also came with like a folder as well. So I have that if I ever get any paper handouts. I feel like it's slowly dying in a lot of the classes I take but you know there's just always that one professor that randomly wants everything to be on paper, so yeah. And inside of the bag, there is a whole pocket back here, which I didn't even realize until just now. And it's just like a little tiny, it stops about right here. Um, I could probably put my chapstick in that one, it'd be more smart. I'm just now realizing that this book bag doesn't have a water bottle holder. Like there's no thing on the outside on either side for your water bottle, and that's very weird. I've never had that. I guess I can just have a hydro flask maybe that I just make sure is always screwed on real tight. But yeah, that's been interesting. I've actually never had a book bag without a cup holder. Not missing it. I don't know. And then back here on the back, there's this like strap here, which I think you can like use. Like if I ever took this traveling, I could put it on the back of my carry-on. And then there's a pocket back here and it's for, whoa. That is not what I thought it was for. Maybe that's for your water bottle? I don't know. <laughs> I think this might be for your water bottle. I'll show you like it goes down all the way down to here and then up. So I guess you just have a tiny water bottle. I guess that's kind of nice so your bottle's not like falling over. Um, so we'll try that, we'll see. I do need to get a Hydro Flask, that would work though. I think I'm gonna order a cute white one. Then this pocket up here at the top is for your laptop, so it's just like a nice laptop sleeve. It's padded, so I put my laptop and my tablet down in this pocket. I really do love this backpack. It was kind of a pricey investment, also just because it's Lululemon, but obviously a lot of the features are really cool this year. This year, this time, <laughs> my first time ever having a Lululemon backpack. Comment below whatever your essential is for your backpack, like your favorite thing that you keep in there, or something that you always love having that you think everyone else needs to have. Mine is definitely a hand sanitizer because I'm always putting it on after a class or after going in the library or something. It's just beneficial, especially as a college student because I feel like everyone always gets sick when they first get to college by being around so many people. So yeah, definitely keep some hand sanitizer on ya. And I think that that is it for this video. So I wish you guys all good luck for this upcoming school year. Wish me good luck as I start tomorrow and watch out for my first day of class vlog. 
I already posted my move-in vlog, so if you want to go watch that, go watch that. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.